Hello students, in today's video we are going to study pharmacology of uh, two miscellaneous anti-cancer drugs uh, hydroxyurea and uh, L-asparaginase. Now as we know cancer is a disease that is caused by rapid, abnormal, uncontrolled multiplication of cells. Now hydroxyurea is a S phase specific drug. It interferes with the synthesis of DNA. While L-asparaginase uh, deprives leukemic cells of an amino acid L-asparagine. So, uh, leukemic cells do not get L-asparagine and this induces apoptosis or programmed cell death in these leukemic cells. So, now let's first study pharmacology of uh, hydroxyurea. Now, hydroxyurea is uh, used orally. Uh, it produces anti-cancer effect by inhibiting enzyme ribonucleotide reductase. Now, before understanding mechanism of action of hydroxyurea, uh, we should know that uh, nucleotides are the building blocks of DNA. Now, nucleotides that uh, form RNA consist of ribose sugar. So, ribonucleotides are the building blocks of RNA. Similarly, nucleotides that form DNA consist of deoxyribose sugar. So, deoxyribonucleotides are the building blocks of DNA. Now, enzyme ribonucleotide reductase converts uh, ribonucleotides to deoxyribonucleotides. Now, for example, GDP that is uh, guanosine diphosphate, uh, it is a ribonucleotide. Now, enzyme ribonucleotide reductase converts this uh, uh, guanosine diphosphate to deoxyguanosine diphosphate that is uh, deoxy GDP. Now this uh, deoxyguanosine diphosphate is further phosphorylated to deoxyguanosine uh, triphosphate and this deoxyguanosine triphosphate is a nucleotide for DNA synthesis. So, hydroxyurea by inhibiting the enzyme ribonucleotide reductase prevents the synthesis of uh, deoxyribonucleotides uh, that are required for the synthesis of DNA. And thus, hydroxyurea interferes with the synthesis of DNA. It is a S phase specific anti cancer drug. Now, indication now. Hydroxyurea uh, is of uh, primary therapeutic value in uh, chronic uh, myeloid leukemia, psoriasis, polycythemia vira and uh, occasionally uh, it is used in some solid tumors. Now in addition to this hydroxyurea uh, enhances the effect of radiotherapy by accelerating the DNA damage and thus hydroxyurea is used or it is employed as a radio sensitizer before the radiotherapy. Now it is also a first line drug for sickle cell disease in adults. Now toxicities. Now myelosuppression is a major toxicity of uh, hydroxyurea. It can also cause uh, gastrointestinal disturbances and cutaneous reactions. Uh, pigmentation can also occur with hydroxyurea. So, this is the pharmacology of hydroxyurea. Uh, now, let us understand pharmacology of uh, L-asparaginase. Now, here first of all, we should know that uh, L-asparagine is an amino acid uh, which is required for the synthesis of proteins. Now, healthy cells of the body can synthesize L-asparagine with the help of enzyme L-asparagine synthase. Now, let us first understand the difficulty of leukemic cells. Now, leukemic cells, uh, they uh, lack the enzyme L-asparagine synthase. So, they cannot synthesize required amount of amino acid L-asparagine. So, leukemic acid depends upon the external supply of uh, L-asparagine. Uh, an amino acid required for the synthesis of uh, proteins. Now, L-asparaginase is an anti-cancer drug. It is given either IV or IM. 
Now, L uh, asparaginase is an enzyme that breaks L asparagine to L aspartic acid. So, first of all, the leukemic cells uh, they cannot synthesize L asparagine. Now, whatever L asparagine they get from the external source is also destroyed by this drug. So, leukemic cells are deprived of essential metabolite that is L asparagine. And so, they cannot synthesize the proteins. And this causes apopt apoptosis or programmed cell death in the leukemic cells. So, this is a mechanism of action of L asparaginase. Now, L asparaginase is used uh, along with drugs like uh, methotrexate, prednisolone, uh, vincristine for inducing remission in acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So, uh, this is the indication of uh, L asparaginase. Now, let's see to the adverse effects. Now, typical adverse effects of uh, anti cancer drugs like bone marrow suppression, alopecia, mucosal damage are not seen with L asparaginase. Uh, but since it uh, breaks the amino acid um, L asparagine, it can cause defective protein synthesis and thus it can cause hyperglycemia, uh, it can cause raised triglyceride levels, pancreatitis, liver damage then clotting defects and uh, central nervous system symptoms. Now, uh, L asparaginase is uh, given IV or IM. So, a significant number of uh, patients uh, develop allergic reactions after administration of L asparaginase and they can suffer from urticaria, chills, fever, rash including anaphylaxis and uh, deaths have also been reported after the administration of uh, L asparaginase. Now L asparaginase is uh, conjugated with the polyethylene glycol to produce PEG asparaginase. Now this formulation is uh, less antigenic so it produces less allergic reaction. Uh, then uh, uh, it is slowly cleared from the body and thus it has a longer half-life and therefore it is given less uh, frequently. And besides this, uh, PEG asparaginase is more effective. So, uh, this is the pharmacology of uh, uh, L asparaginase. Now, please note that the information provided in this video is only for informative academic purpose. Uh, for the use of hydroxyurea or uh, L asparaginase, uh, consult your physician. Uh, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.